Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Boy, do I have an extra special treat for you. By the way, I think I may have shown you this army, but we've done more to it at the very least. So here it is. This is a Necron army in bone and glowy blue with black and dark silver low lights or uh, whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Um, accent colors. That's what I meant. So, first off, this army features a giant horde of Necron warriors. And I am, at first, when looking over the Necron Codex, I discounted Immortals, the other troops' choice. But nowadays, I'm actually looking more at Immortals. They're Toughness 5, 3 up save, a 1 point improvement over the warriors. They do cost more, they cost 4 points more, but their guns are absolutely awesome and of course their troops and uh and and the models are really cool so even though they redid the warriors they still didn't make them they still didn't make them beefier than the immortals so immortals look cool i'm thinking the maximum size of a unit of immortals is 10 so i'm thinking of getting a unit of 10 and seeing how it is that i like it Okay, we have a Chronomancer, only available in the Nexus Pariah Kill Team box. Two Crypto Thralls, which of course are pretty common because of Indomitus. Great models, they do a great thing in the game. I still run two units of two, even though I have no Cryptex left in my list. A Scorpec Lord, who is an absolute beast in battle. Here are a bunch of Scorpec Destroyers. Those are good looking figures. They're good in the game. You still see them at tournaments and stuff. A little plasma sight that prods them onto uh, greater acts of destruction. A plasmancer here. Uh, these are new kits. Oh, by the way, Games Workshop just put out this amazing new kit. Tra la la. Nobody paid attention. Everybody complained. And by the way, look at the paint scheme on this. With that rust effect and that stippled, edged corrosion effect. They just look so good. And the base has so much going on. Skulls. Good corking. Two types of foliage. The bases just look absolutely outstanding. They make me very happy. And these guys can sneak in and also have a bit of a punch. So good for the Ophidians. I believe they clock in at 35 points a model. So not bad uh, for a real sneaky small unit. Wanted to be 50 or 60 points. These are 105, but again, they do pack a punch. This is the uh, Technomancer, which is presented on the Games Workshop site as just Cryptek, so I guess technically it could be anything. But really, because all the other things have something for them, this really is the Technomancer model. And it's been around for a while. Uh, I think it came out with a kit in like 2014. It's really cool. And by the way, Games Workshop just knocked it out of the park with Necrons. Talk about completing a range and making it awesome. This is the new Necron Overlord in the Indomitus box, and he is looking pretty shiny. Scarabs, a must-have in any Necron army. The, low, the thing is, it's a psychological effect. No one wants to admit, waste time dealing with them because you just got to get rid of, like, 24 wounds and it's very boring but the thing is you just can't ignore the scarabs they fly they uh have no ranged weapons so there's no reason not to just have them fall back every turn so uh they're really cool now uh dessert is the silent king and you do see this model uh competitively out there he's uh, 450 points so it does take up a chunk of your pointage but he's really cool and uh, definitely, definitely a beast. And this is crazy awesome feature. And these things are scary. Flat damage six to get hit by those beams that they shoot. Uh, Canoptic Doom Stalkers. I run one. A great backfield protector. It can also go up with your Necron Warriors and really scare off serious chargers. So I've had a good time with those. What I do is I just stick it on top of the tallest building I can find and proclaim, proclaim that he cannot be removed. And uh, usually my opponents put a disproportionate amount of effort to get rid of the Doomstalkers. 
Uh, Canoptic reanimator, mixed feelings about this unit. Um, but definitely really super cool looking. And there's a conversion you can make to change it into a spider, which looks really incredibly cool. Guys, I think that covers it. And I just wanted to show you this really slick Necron army. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And uh, I hope you've got your inspiration for the day.